Hey guys, I'm Aubrey Kanata. I'm the uh, volunteer coordinator for Garage Games 1. I'm going to give you um, everything you need to know right now. I'm going to try to talk fast. We've got a lot to uh, fill you in on. Um, first thing, arrival time. Volunteer spot has the time that you should be starting. So you want to give yourself at least 15 to 20 minutes before, you, uh, before your time is supposed to start. That way you can get checked in, get your shirt, find out where you're supposed to be, all that good stuff. Now a lot of you guys are uh, volunteering so that you can get your registration and feedback. I need you to make sure that you are volunteering on volunteer spot for at least eight hours. If, uh, if we actually go under that actually, you know, at the actual event, if you're done judging, it's been seven hours, that's fine, as long as you're registered for eight hours. And then you need to give us about a week or two afterwards and we'll start getting your refunds back. Sorry, that was my phone. Uh, okay, so when you get there, you're gonna check in with me. When you come in through the parking, you're gonna come right in the front door. I'm gonna be sitting at that desk. You guys are gonna be uh, working your way over here to the right side, there's four basketball courts here. This is where the competition is going to be. Uh, when, you, when you come in, I'm gonna sign you in, give you your shirt. Judges get a second shirt. You guys are gonna be wearing a green shirt. That's my husband. Um, and uh, everybody else is going to be wearing a red shirt. Two-day volunteers are getting an additional shirt. They're getting a long sleeve shirt. When you come in here, um, you're going to find a, a break room. We'll call it the green room. There will be a sign above the door. But when you come into the volunteer area, it's going to be down here on the right. And that's the place for you guys to hang out, get something to eat, um, get a drink, whatever. Um, there's a whiteboard in that room, too. And we're going to use that for any additional you know, information that you, you're going to need. We're feeding you lunch if you are volunteering over four hours. On Saturday, everybody's going to be going to pre-made paleo. Everybody will be going to them on Saturday. But then on Sunday, we're going to go to our other uh, food vendor, and I think it's called Adija Meals. So she's a uh, paleo too, so um, we'll get you guys squared away with that. Standard video is going to be coming out for the athletes. I need every volunteer to watch that, please, because I might need to pull somebody in for one or two heats. Um, to judge, so just be prepared for that. If you don't want to judge, you absolutely don't want to, that is fine. Parking, there's a video attached to your email about parking. I need everybody to take a look at that too so you know where to park. Volunteers are parking for free and uh, each of the parking attendants will have a list of your names so you don't have to worry about getting hassled about that. I've also attached a video of the facility. You can look at it if you want to, but not necessary. And then uh, raffle. We're going to do a couple of raffles throughout the day. And if I pull your name, I'll um, just leave your, your raffle. I'll tape it to the whiteboard in that volunteer room. Um, so at some point over the weekend, you need to uh, check that, see if you won, and, um, and then turn it in. You're going to get some merchandise. I'm going to let you pick some of the things that we have. Um, so if you don't catch up with me by the end of Sunday, then I have no way to get it to you. So make sure you check that out. All right, now I'm going to get into the specific jobs. I'd like everybody to listen to the judging part, and then if you're not a judge, then you can just stop watching there, but I need everybody else to pay attention. So judges are going to have assignments. I'll email that out to you a few days before the event so you know exactly where you're going to be. Um, athletes are going to come in right here to the, to the um, space. They're going to come in and out a certain way. So as you come in, they're going to get checked in right here by the... Um, uh, the wad check-in person just going to have a piece of paper here that says this is who I'm supposed to have right now. Make sure you have all of your athletes and then you're going to give this to the wad captain. And when they leave, you're going to give it to the scoring captain right here. Judges will give the scorecard to the scoring captain. So judges will have scoring cards for the athlete. Their name is going to be written on the card. You're going to have your judging number on it. You're going to fill everything out, make sure we can read it, give it to the scoring captain. The scoring captain is going to look at it. Make sure that they can read it, and then you just go back to the area for your next athlete. It's very important that we can read these because we're doing our scoring real time. Um, in, in relation to judges, if you haven't been accredited, we are doing a class at the Academy. Uh, I think it's from 1 to 5 on uh, Friday. Uh, it's $50 to register, but you get that $50 right back because in addition to the normal volunteer stuff, you get $50 cash every day that you judge, and that's good for all of our Garage Games events, so it works out nicely. Um, another thing I want to mention about judging, it's very important to us that our athletes are getting a consistent experience and that we're fair to everybody, so if you feel like at any point you're not sure about a rep and you're kind of like, oh, a little bit was close, no rep. We need to be strict, 
We need to be fair to everybody else. Just be sure that you're communicating with your athlete what it is that they're doing. You need to tell them no, lower, no, hips open, something like that so they're not continuing to make the same mistake. If you have any issues at all with your, with your athlete or if you're not sure about something, every area is going to have a WAD captain and the WAD captain is going to know everything they need to know about that WAD. Um, they'll tell the judges what they need to know, they're going to tell the athletes what they need to know. And uh, they're the three, two, one, go. Any issues whatsoever, that's the go-to person for you. All right, so um, if you guys are judging, you can check out. Um, all right, to wide check-in. You're just gonna be responsible for getting the athletes in. That's it, scoring captain. You're gonna have to look over those cards very carefully, make sure that they're legible, and you're gonna be entering the data right there. And I'm gonna give you everything you need for that. All right. Almost done. Ticket info table. I'm going to leave you some instructions on that info table, but when you walk in the door, you're going to be sitting in a nice little desk area right here. You're going to be responsible for taking people's tickets. They're going to have um, a ticket on their phone, most likely, and they might print it out. You're going to scan it. So you need to um, download TicketBud, get that app, TicketBud, um, on your phone. And uh, I don't have phones to give you, so if you don't have a smartphone, you're going to need to let me know. Um, and then the athletes are, or I'm sorry, the spectators are going to get different color bracelets and those instructions will be there on the day of. I'm going to take cash or credit so we have a square to put in your phone and I'll give you more information about the app that you're going to need for that. So everything that you need is going to be right there at the desk. At the desk. And I'll be there as well checking in uh, volunteers so I can help in the morning. Athlete check-in is going to be, um, this is the main entrance, it's going to be just to the left. Those people are just going to come up to you, they're going to tell you their name, then you're going to give them a bracelet. Both individuals and teams can check in on Saturday, but after 10 o'clock it will just be team people that are wanting to check in. So we're going to move that over to the uh, ticket table at 10 o'clock. Uh, parking, last thing. Parking people, I've got only two people on that per day, so only through about 10 o'clock. We're going to be jamming people into that whole front area and then all the way even around the side and the back. So we're going to ask uh, volunteers to give us their keys. I'll give you a backpack, I'll give you everything you need. We're gonna ticket their keys, give them a ticket, you know, valet-like, and um, that way if we need to move somebody's car, we can. We anticipate everybody just, you know, being there all day. So we just gotta jam those people in there. Um, when you do do the parking, there are two areas that we're gonna be. It's $5 to park if they're not a volunteer. Everybody else is gonna be $5. So, uh, $5 cash or they don't get to park there. They're going to have to park in one of the other areas that are farther away. So you know, I kind of have to be a jerk about that just out of fairness to people who need that upfront parking. There's a parking video again on the email. Make sure you watch that. And I think that's it. So we're looking forward to a great event. We really appreciate you being uh, part of the event this, this weekend. If there's anything I can do for you in the meantime, please let me know. Oh, one other, yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. Okay, thanks.